no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on County Line in FS17. Back where we left off here in the last video, working on tilling this field under. Um, and that is what we're going to continue doing. Um, I need to just remember here what we were doing for our fields. Um... Gonna have to go back and look at the video here. I know that uh, we were tilling this field in field eight, if I remember correctly. Probably should have gone back and looked at the video before starting this one, but who needs to know things in advance, right? <laughs> So evidently the discs are going to run no matter what. I wonder if uh, Raphael ever figured out why these lights just constantly stay on or if he ever fixed it or anything. It is rather odd. So we're running a little updated seasons thing here um where our seasons are a little bit different now uh ooh, i can see we I see we can plant our uh quite a few of our crops here anything but corn beans sunflowers uh anyway so it's like a u.s kind of situation here uh like in the midwest united states uh, season mod. It's on the official website. Uh, saw that. Uh, ooh, tomorrow we would be able to uh, cut grass or mow grass if we were doing animals, uh, which we will eventually. But anyway, um, so like our growing seasons are a little bit different. Uh, I see we can double crop some stuff as well, which is actually kind of neat. Um, it does not have sugar beets in it. Um, although I don't know why, I mean, sugar beets are common only in certain areas. It also, I guess, depends on where exactly this is meant to be for. But, um, like in the immediate area that I live in, <coughs> there aren't any sugar beets, but like the, whoops. The northern and southern parts of the state have sugar beets, so uh, they're just not super common, you know, directly in my area. Um, but uh, they are fairly common. So, like I said, it, I'm sure it just depends on where exactly uh, this is, you know, meant for, I'll say. So we've got four fields. So we could do a field of wheat, a field of soybeans, a field of corn, and a field of milo maybe. Now let's just look at what the prices look like here. So definitely sunflowers and beans. Canola is an okay price. Wheat is okay for its price. Uh, we do also have... Oh, might have to do some oats or some rye. Maybe we'll do we'll do uh, sunflowers, soybeans, oats, and rye. So, yeah, sunflowers, soybeans, oats, and rye. What do we have for planters again? 
um, 60. So we can use this for the sunflowers and the soybeans and then this for everything else. So what we'll do is we'll we'll till this field and then um let's see cuz can we plant anything yet? Okay, we can plant the oats and the rye. Um the sunflowers and soybeans, we have to wait a few more days. And the actually, the planting season hasn't even started for those anyways. Um, that'll be starting in the next couple of days. So, uh, But as you can see, it's like 57 uh, Thursday, 58 Friday, and 66 Saturday. Uh, sunny all three days, so we can hopefully uh, knock out some acreage. Um, I wonder now, did I buy... Anything to... Oh, yeah, the mandate. Okay. <clears throat> Couldn't remember if I bought anything for fertilizing. But uh, anyway, so back to what I was saying. Um, so we'll till this field by hand. And then we'll use course play for all the other ones. And because then while this runs on course play in another field, we can work on planting this field and just keep doing that with each and every field. Um, you know, having this running one field ahead of the planter usually, uh, that's, that's the idea at least. So. Uh, if you guys are wondering how I got this up, uh, that is alt and left alt and F. So it brings that up. I had originally thought that maybe that was a mod and then i was gonna go searching for it and then i was looking uh seasons mod was also updated and so i went and checked out the update and i saw that uh, i was kind of reading it a little more than i did the first time i downloaded it and it was showing the uh all of the buttons or all of the keys and what they do and whatnot so then i saw it there uh, as to just what it did. Let's see, what's this one? Okay, so both of those. Okay, let's open up this back window here if we can. Yes, we can. Oh, guess it did not lock on. So this field isn't super large, but it's not very small either. Okay. This is really a... But anyway, um, so I think we'll do field 33 and... Eight blue, thirty-three in the. Uh, okay, let's see here. I think we're gonna do field thirty-three in the oats. Field eleven in the rye. Field eight in sunflowers. Field ten in soybeans. Um. Let's see, did I buy a sun? No, I did not. So we're going to have to pick up one of those. Um, let's go ahead and do that right now. 
thinking about it. Uh, what combine do we have? We have the 93. Okay, so we can go to the next size. No, I believe this is one. That's a 5.7 meter. Okay, so I think as we're using this header, that's a 10.7. This is a 12. So I think we can go ahead and get that to use for our sunflowers. We'll just go ahead and have that reset right away here. Probably would have been a lot easier to have gone the other way, but. But yeah, so now we have the sunflower header. Be all set to combine sunflowers. So we're not going to need the corn head this season. But uh, we will next season. Uh, did I take out a lot of loam? Yes, so there's no chance of doing any loan to get started in animals. That'll just have to wait, I guess. <laughs> As by the time we bought machines, that would pretty much take up all of our money. As we'd have to get, we'd have to get a mower. So we could get like this one, that's 17,000. We'd have to get a tether. I'd probably do this one. So that's 16,000. Then we'd have to get a rake. Probably this one, that's 28,000. I wouldn't get one of those. Well, yeah, I would. Probably this one, 68,000. We'd have to get a baler. Yeah, I think by the time we bought all the equipment, we'd be pretty dang short on money. Yeah, we'll have to wait until like after after like harvest season or something. Um, and I wonder if we shouldn't maybe just pick up another field, just kind of help. It's like let's see how much would field seven, seventeen thousand. I think we should lease, we'll lease field seven, and then we'll also plant some sorghum, so we can plant that too. Um. 16,000 for field 5. Hmm, it's a bit of a travel, though, to get over there. Well, that's actually not too terrible, but we'll lease that one as well. So that still leaves us with quite a bit of money. But then we can plant a bit more crop and get a little bit more money. So. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and write this all down, so that way I'm not rethinking all of this later on and trying to figure it all out. I know that I will be anyways. If I wasn't doing this, so. Okay. Clear notebook, so we've got five, seven, eight. 10, 11, 3. So we're going to do 33 in oats. We'll do field 10 in rye. I know I'm changing it from what I just said, but kind of rethinking this a little bit. So then field 8 we'll do in, see that what we were going to do in sunflowers, and we'll keep that. that. Um. Whoops, writing things in wrong places. Let me just stop the track here real quick. Field 10 is rye. So field 5 is not oats. Field 33 is oats. 
I'm writing them in a much different order than I listed the field numbers. Um, okay, so then field five. Okay, field seven will do the Milo in. Field. Let's see. So I'm going to do soybeans and what else? We got sunflowers, sunflowers, soybeans, oat, brown, and milo. Okay, so maybe we'll throw, I don't know, what other crop should we throw in the mix? What other crop is paying pretty good? We could do canola. What's that growing season look like? Okay. So we'll do canola down on field 11, and then beans over on field 5. Okay, so just to recap, field 5 we'll do soybeans, 7 we'll do milo, 8 we'll do sunflowers, 10 we'll do rye, 11 canola, and 33 we'll do oats. So that <coughs> that is what we'll do for crops this season. So we need to get this field done so we can start planting. Um, the only reason I'm doing the first field by hand instead of saying this one up on course play as well is because I would just be in my own way. Like course play would just be in my way then um, if I did that, did it that way, because you know I'd have limited space to plant. Uh, so I don't want to do that. Uh, so it's easier if I just, you know, run this tractor and get it a field ahead and then go back and do, uh, you know, move this thing on to another field and get course play going and uh, whatnot. So we can plant everything except for fields five and eight. So I think if we leave those two, so we'll go ahead, we'll do, we're doing field 33, and then we'll go ahead and do field 10, and then we'll do 11, and then field 7. And then after that, we'll fast forward time a little bit. Well, then we'll have to roll those fields, and then we'll fast forward time. A little bit uh, and while we fast forward time we'll have this guy running uh, this thing's this thing's always going to be running uh, until the planting is done but then after we go you know fast forward a little bit to where we can plant the beans and sunflowers then we can get started on those um, but we'll have lots of rolling to do so that'll help uh, Keep things busy while, well, you know, between when we finish planting and when we can start, you know, finish planting the few crops that we can now, and then when we can start planting other crops. About, just about 20 minutes in. I do really, really love this tractor, though. It is kind of neat that you can uh, drop it down. But it just kind of looks ridiculous with it down in a way. I mean, I'm sure there's a reason, but it'd be different if, like, the farmer followed. His arms do, but the rest of him does not. Trying to get this thing to go. What's this one? Whoa! That's cool. I didn't even notice that button before. So I want to see, did his arms fall? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, they did. That's that's crazy. The way that this game generates the arms is just ridiculous in general. Like you would think that his wrists are just completely busted from all of this. You need to think, but and again. Never know. Probably should have bought a little bit bigger of a disc, but eventually we will. Eventually we'll run much bigger machines and much more land, but a $2 million loan didn't last us very long buying what we did. Money does not go very far, even in game. Yeah, there it goes. I don't know why it uh, took so long to take, but it's kind of weird. Much quieter in the cab here. He didn't know right. Go back to the other screen. There we go. Let me bring down the sun visor. Neat. And we got a little shade over there too. Definitely a very well done tractor. Definitely one of my more favorite tractors. It's definitely a lot quieter in the in cab of the tractor as well. Much quieter. Oh, that light turns on. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Would have been awesome if the little sunroof type thing opened too. Well, I guess it's not really a sunroof. I know I think it's like the 6R tractors. They have a little window there. We can even uh, light it up inside pretty good at night.
So yeah, we'll probably have another video or two of tillage. And then, uh, then we'll have, uh, then we'll start, be starting on the planting. Lost my train of thought there for a moment. And we're pretty close to done with this first round of passes, and then just gotta go back and clean everything up again. We're gonna pick up all these other rows. Then we'll be all set. So, let's see, what are we at? Uh, 25 minutes. So we'll get maybe another pass or two done, and then the rows will get a lot smaller, so I'd say maybe by the next video, um, or else the one after that will finish it, like, in the beginning. But it'll definitely be no more than two videos that it's, that we're doing tillage in. I am planning to record quite a few videos here all at once. Um, just to try and get a bunch done. That way I am set to go for the next week. Uh, I do still have to edit. You know, at this point, this is Thursday that I'm recording this. But um, maybe you've seen the farming videos by now. Uh, but at this point, for me, I still have to edit edit them. Um, you know, in my little update video, I, I did, I was uploading the one, but I found out that it exported as like an extremely small file and the screen was black the entire time. Um, something messed up there, probably because I moved files around. Uh, so that probably had something to do with it. I don't know. But um, that would explain why it exported and uploaded in about a third of the time that it normally takes. So, kind of makes sense, but. Might have to do a little test video and see if the radio in this game is copyrighted music. Um, I had found out the hard way that the uh, loading screen sound, the music that they play on the loading screen, is copyrighted. I found that out the hard way. Uh, I had a video uploaded and it told me that, hey, you've got copyrighted material. What? Turned out that it was, uh, that intro music, or not intro music, but the menu music. So, I mean, wouldn't surprise me, necessarily, if the, uh, radio was copyrighted music as well. But, I mean, like, I've got, like, you can search online stations as well. Those, I know, would most definitely be copyrighted. But, like these other ones that are built in, I don't know for sure.
All right. So what I'm going to do, guys, is basically just hit stop recording, and then I'm going to start the next video right away. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe, like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, we'll see you tomorrow.